So, the steps in our RV started making a weird noise and not going in all the way. It's woken up the baby. You gotta kinda give them a bump to get them in all the way. So, I recently got on Amazon and ordered a new motor and a new gear assembly. And uh, I'll link those below so that way if anybody else has this issue, they can get at it. So again, I just got this off of Amazon. I basically climbed underneath the coach to where the steps are. And there was a part number. Um, you know what's funny? It's not on the replacement, so. But there was a part number right on the original, right next to it. And so I just looked it up, ordered a new one. And so this is it. And this is half of what I ordered. So basically this is, this connects to the steps, this piece right here. And this arm opens and closes the steps and then there's a motor that fits right on top of this piece okay so this is the motor you can see here there's the part number it's I think it's the same motor that goes inside of uh, the electric windows you know for your car power windows but yeah so this will fit right on there like this we'll have brand new parts and perfectly working steps for our RV. I honestly believe that you can do this whole job with just these three tools. You know, most shops would probably charge you three, four, five hundred dollars to do this repair and just by getting these three tools and the parts off of Amazon, you're gonna be in it for less than 200. I mean, really probably closer to 150. And so it's definitely a do-it-yourself kind of gig. Okay, so I just took the old one off. This is the old motor right here. When I took it off, I plugged it back in and I just checked to see if the motor would spin freely. And it was spinning okay. It didn't seem like it was getting hung up or anything like that. This motor seems to be fine. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyways just because it was so easy to take off. It's just those three bolts. For those of you who are changing it, it's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt and so you just pull those three off and then this puppy falls right off there's a wire harness that clips into there and it was just to push down on the clip and pull it out super easy took about a minute okay so this is the view underneath and so I just loosen these bolts I'm gonna take um, this whole thing off there's a cotter pin right here um, some needle nose pliers I'll just pull that out and then push that pin through and then that ought to uh, remove this whole piece right here. Okay, so the hardest thing so far was probably pulling the the cotter pin and the little uh, pin that I showed you uh, out of there, but a uh, pair of needle nose pliers will set you up. Also, another thing uh, that you should know is, is that the four bolts that are actually holding that gear mechanism up there are 11 millimeter instead of 10 millimeter. There it is. All done. Looks good. You ready to give it a try? Yeah. All right, go ahead and shut that door. Oh, I hear it. Let's see. Yeah. So that crazy noise is gone. Now I just gotta get rid of the squeaky door. So nothing a little WD-40 can't solve. Well done, well done.